We need to see a new social contract because we need to repair a broken labour market. For the ITUC, it has five key demands. Jobs, jobs and jobs. Climate friendly jobs with just transition. And your uh, sectors are so much in the forefront as we indeed see every sector transition. The industries of today will be the industries of tomorrow, but we need to see investment and that will generate the jobs we need to see the laws to ensure their decent work, to repair the broken uh, rights record in too many countries. But industrial is central with industry policy, with industrial transformation, and of course, just transition. We need to see rights. If we're gonna repair a broken labor market, then you can't have 60% of people who are informal with no rights, no minimum wage, no rule of law, and in the 40% that have a formal contract of employment, more than a third of those are insecure or indeed uh, um, unsafe, low paid work. We need to see that change. That will require a reinvestment in human and labour rights everywhere. It will take mandated due diligence, legislated for, with compliance, to hold companies to account. And indeed, we need to see that those rights are for everybody. The ILO Centenary Declaration laid out a labour floor of protection, married with indeed our third demand, which is universal social protection. That's the combination we need for decent work, for security, for resilience against personal or national or future global shocks. And indeed, we need equality. We need equality of income with just wages. For women, it's got to indeed be equal pay, but we also need participation of women to rise dramatically. We've set a target of 1 billion jobs formalised by 2030. We also need equality of race and indeed uh, equality for all of those marginalised workers. So gender, race, income, equal treatment across the board. You can't have inclusion if we don't realise the SDGs, if we don't see the Paris Climate Agreement implemented because there are simply no jobs on a dead planet. So if we don't indeed see inclusion at the base with just development models, with industry policy, then we are not going to see a future that trade unions recognise. But to affect that, we have to have strong trade unions. They have to be, in fact, uh, inclusive of everybody. We have to fight the far right and its uh, absolute, uh, you know, predilection to racism and xenophobia that is trapping too many peoples in these false notions of security. We have to be strong. That means we have to organise, organise and organise. So for men and women of the trade union movement, wherever they come from, we need to stand up and use our collective voice, the power of working people to fight for a just future. And industrial is central to that. I congratulate you. I wish you well. And I can tell you that the ITUC will work in partnership with you through the next term and all the terms of uh, your congresses after that.